hey guys welcome back to my channel so for today we're on road to st thomas i did a poll on the channel asking which parishes you guys wanted to see and uh, you guys voted st thomas as one of the areas well one of the top two areas you want to see so we're heading to st thomas today um i'm starting the journey from harbor view though guys because you can see from Kingston, downtown Kingston to Harbour View in my Norman Manley Drive with me to Norman Manley International Airport video So I am going to start the Kingston to St. Thomas in Harbour View So Can you see that truck man there? Alright, so you guys already used to the Harbour View area um, We're passing the Jamaica Flower Mills now just past Jamaica Flower Mills and heading in hmm? Cement Company oh we just passed the Cement Company sorry just past the Cement Company and we are heading into Arbor View's main area shortly so you'll realize that there are a lot of trucks on the road St. Thomas Route Kingston to St. Thomas Route is known for trucks a whole lot of trucks so I really try to not be behind them because the road to St. Thomas is very narrow and you really don't want to be stuck behind three, four trucks on that road. So, as much as I can possibly get around before I get into the nine miles, 10 miles region, then I'll definitely do that. So let's go. Guys, of course, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the like button if you have been enjoying my drive with me series and uh, comment down below any little air any little area along the route that you have noticed some changes from Kingston to St. Thomas and also you can comment down below anywhere that you want us to visit over the period of time so let's go
St. Thomas's potholes. So you just have to drive with an open mind, clear eyes. Well, you always have to drive with your clear eyes, but you know, looking out for these things. So we're passing Wikiwaki, which is a community in eight miles. Wikiwaki. On the road, Wikiwaki. But this road is known for like water or washing down like a river from the hillside so that contributes to the potholes So we are now approaching 9 miles Bull Bay. So this is 9 miles Bull Bay. That route takes you to Cane River Falls. That's one of the one of the attractions in this area. Lovely place, Cane River. So if you're ever in Kingston, you can check it out. Alright, so this is uh, the start of where you'll see proof of the highway, the new highway from uh, Kingston, well, yeah, from Harborview to Portland. So uh, they're going across the hill somewhere on out in this side, out here, nine miles. There goes Speedy Gonzalez. Something probably I give when uh, St. Thomas I don't know about, but kudos to him. So the sign says, Welcome to St. Thomas. So we are now, we just crossed the 10 miles. The 10 miles bridge, I think. I think it's 10 miles bridge. Passing 11 miles, which is the, the parking yeah. space for the JUTC, that's our, our local transportation system. So the buses no, don't pass there, that's the furthest they go from Kingston, 11 miles, full bay. So if you're going past 11 miles, you wouldn't be able to take a JUTC, instead you'd be required to take either a coaster or a taxi depending on your pockets so we definitely will be going through the hill with trucks because there are two in front of me and one behind We're not in a simulator, these are potholes. Here you 
supposed to be a um maybe a paintball spot sun coast but i think it's now a guest house or something but this is 12 miles now we're currently in 12 miles so we're definitely heading more into st thomas And there is a lot of construction going on up here from housing developments to the new highway to Portland a lot of things going on Bridge. Okay, bridge done is the poorest parish I guess because it's underdeveloped majority of St. Thomas land is unoccupied well along this side there isn't much in terms of um, tourist attractions at all I'm really trying to think about it I'm not sure I'll have to check if Reach Falls is actually in St. Thomas or it's in Portland there is little to no tourist attractions here. Um, Reach Falls, there's Reggae Falls. That's in St. Thomas. And there are some a few beaches along the way. It's not really known as a farming parish either, so there's really not much economic activities happening on this side but of recent times there's been a lot of developments in terms of housing you realize along this stretch there is a scheme on the right that they're currently selling land for and developing there would be other schemes along the way but they're like a drive off the main road so you would be able to see them on the route that we're on
one but today from that at home I want, I want, no, I wanted to. Can you tell me to come out? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I should have something. I'm not packed. <laughs> I actually wanted to turn, you know. Yes, I thought there was space in you. You still need space for people to come in. Oh. <laughs> Thank 
Thank you. So guys, um, yeah, let's does not have a fast food restaurants. The only fast food it has is juicy patties and a whole lot of jerk men. So grab the a juicy patty. It's been a while since I've had a juicy patty. So that's where it is right now. So guys, we have come to the end of the journey. We are now in Yalas, St. Thomas. So on the road, you would have seen that there is a lot of new development in terms of um, the new highway that is being built that will run from, I think it's from down, because where it started would have been about 10 miles. So it would technically almost be running from St. Andrew to Portland. So I definitely will be in St. Thomas again before that highway is completed. So if at any point when I'm passing through or if I'm heading to Portland because Portland was also one of the places listed that you guys wanted a drive with me to. It might be a drive with me or it might also be um, two parts. It might actually be a visit to a visit to um might also be a visit to a location there a beach or a spot because you guys know portland is my favorite parish so i'll definitely be going there and showing you guys so i might make it a two-part video or a one-part video um driving with me and the location so in that case if i'm doing a drive with me to portland you'll definitely see the upgrades to the highway when we're passing there so guys that's the end of today's video i do hope you enjoyed this one um don't forget to hit that like button leave me a comment down below if there's any changes you've seen on the route from saint from kingston to saint thomas kingston to, to yellas to be more specific and also let me know in the comment section below anywhere else that you'd like to see there's a poll happening in my community you can go there and click that as well with a listing of parishes, you can state which one um, you'd want to go. Currently, Portland and Clarendon will be the next two that we're leading on the list. So guys, until next time, continue to be your most authentic self. And of course, guys, continue to stay naturally.